Hi, I'm Derek Goodman, and this video is about the new machine simulation tool that has just been released in Mastercam X5. With machine simulation, for the first time, you have the opportunity to simulate your part and machine in the Mastercam environment. It can gouge check your tool and your tool holder against the part, any fixtures that you are using, and the machine components themselves. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to bring a part and a vise into a three-axis vertical machining environment and show you the basics of setting up machine simulation. I've prepared a file with a part that has its origin on the top left corner. I've also imported a vise onto its own level using the file merge command and transformed it to the correct location relative to the part. The stock is set up as a bounding box around the part with some additional material below the part that can be held in the vise jaws. The first thing we need to think about is the distance between the part origin and the machine simulation origin. In machine simulation, on a three-axis machining center, the origin is at the center of the table in the XY direction and the top of the table in the Z direction. I've created a point on the underside of the vise that represents the machine simulation origin. I've applied tool pads and for each tool I've selected a tool holder. If your machine simulation toolbar is not visible on the screen, you can right mouse click in the toolbar area and place a check mark next to machine simulation. Make sure all of your operations are selected and pick simulation startup settings. Select the three axis generic vertical machining center from the drop down menu. For workpiece geometry, click on the drop down arrow and pick selected elements. Click on the pick tab, select your part and press enter. It's important to note that you must have either solid or surface geometry or an STL file available to utilize machine simulation. Click the drop down arrow next to position and select translation in XYZ. This translation value is the distance between your workpiece origin and the machine simulation origin at the center of the machine table. Click on the Pick tab. You're prompted to select the first point, which is Table 0 Point. Pick the point on the corner of your part. You're prompted to select the second point, which is the machine 0 Point. You'll notice that I'm using the Auto Cursor so that only points are selectable. This is helpful when picking geometry in Mastercam. Next, click on the drop-down arrow under Fixture Selection. You could select the entities from the screen, but since I know what level my vise is on, I will just specify that the fixture is on level 10. For stock, I'll tell the system to use the Mastercam stock definition. Now we're ready to go, so click on the Simulate button. I'm going to roll my mouse button a few clicks to zoom in on the part. Machine Simulation is an outside add-on to Mastercam and uses its own set of hotkeys. Click on the keyboard icon to see what the hotkeys are for zooming, panning, and changing views. You can map your own hotkeys. Press play to view the simulation. Now I don't know about you, but I can tell you about us at the Anza College, and this is going to save students a lot of time because from here on out, if they program their end mill to plunge into the vice jaws, they're going to be able to see that right here in machine simulation. We'll be building an entire section of tutorials to cover more complicated features, such as how to implement WCS, working on four and five axis systems, and building your own machine tools to use in machine simulation.
Thanks for visiting eApprentice.net.